Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going over an anime series called Mashal Magic and Muscle in the Magic Realm, where magic is a natural part of everyday life. Regro and his son Mash live in a secluded forest away from the city. Despite the magical nature of the world, Mash is unique in that he has no magical abilities. One day, Mash secretly ventures into the city without his father's knowledge. People in the city notice that the distinct markings indicating magical ability are missing from Mash's face, which raises suspicion. Meanwhile, at their forest home, Regro reflects on his past. Suddenly, Brad and a group of policemen storm in, demanding to know the whereabouts of Mash. Regro refuses to comply, prompting Brad to resort to violence. As Regro withstands the beating and refuses to reveal Mash's location, Brad decides to use his own magic. Just then, Mash arrives on the scene. He confronts Brad, skillfully blocking his magical attacks and fighting back. Mash warns Brad not to threaten his family again, or he will take drastic action. In a surprising turn of events, Brad offers Mash a proposition. He proposes that if Mash follows his instructions, Brad will allow both Mash and Regro to go free. The condition is that Mash must enroll in a magic school and strive to become a divine visionary a prestigious title that comes with fortune and honor. Mash, driven by his desire to restore peace for himself and his father, agrees to Brad's terms. With this decision, Mash embarks on a new path, aiming to prove himself in the magical world and achieve the position of a divine visionary. Easton Magic Academy, a prestigious institution within the magical realm, conducts rigorous entrance examinations for potential students. Mash successfully passes the first and second tests of the entrance examinations, showcasing his skills and determination. During the third test, which involves navigating a maze, Mash teams up with Lemon Irvine to find an unconventional solution by bursting through the walls. Their unique approach allows them to successfully complete the test. After the tests, Mash learns that his roommate will be Finn, another student at the academy, Mash and Finn introduce themselves to each other and begin to establish a connection. They introduce themselves, and Mash asks him on what it takes to become a divine visionary. Finn explains that he needs to collect gold coins. There are tests that will evaluate everything, and based on that, they will be receiving gold, silver, or bronze coins. The next day, during the flying class, the teacher explains how they will mount the broom and levitate. Mash was challenged to a race by one of his teammates but won the race by throwing the broom and jumping after it at a great speed, which surprised everyone. The student became angry. However, Lloyd Cavill uses magic to silence him and apologizes to Mash for his friend's rudeness. Lloyd introduces himself and asks Mash if he wants to be friends. Mash overhears his name as Spud Cabbage, which annoys Lloyd, but he manages to hide it. Lloyd leaves Mash but tells him to come here after school. Later, Mash wonders why is everyone afraid of Lloyd, and Finn tells him that Lloyd is the son of a high-ranking member at the Bureau of Magic, and if someone stands against him, he gets expelled. Vice Principal Farman Kragos then shows up and explains that Mash and Finn are going to get into trouble, and they might be expelled for fighting Lloyd. But Mash also hits Farman, dug a hole, and buries him in halfway in it. Later, Mash is summoned in front of Wahlberg Bagan, who explains the Bureau of Magic had issued an expulsion notice for Mash for what he did, but Wahlberg pardoned Mash stating he must be the top student and become a divine visionary, which he must do by gaining gold, silver, or bronze coin. Later, Tom approaches Mash and offers him to represent Adler Dormitory in a duello match. Mash tries to explain that he can't ride a broom, but Tom refuses to listen and keeps insisting him to play with them, which made Mash unable to decline. Next day, the game between Adler Dorm versus Lang Dorm starts. Since he can't fly, Mash simply stands still on the ground. Tom comes telling him that he promised a good performance, but Mash denies it before returning to his team. Tom flies up, but another player crashes into him, acting it was an accident and making Tom fall to the ground. Tom has broken a bone and could no longer play. Lang Dorm has taken a good lead of 40 points over Adler Dorm. Since they are six players versus four now, Lang continues to increase their lead to 50 points. Mash gets annoyed and takes his broom. He then jumps and floats in the air, surprising everyone that he can actually fly, but in reality, he is just moving his legs fast enough to stay in the air. Mash scores 999 points for his team, and the team receive a silver coin. 
The next day, Mash was with Lemon Finn and Tom. Then Lance Crown shows up. Lance then suggests they do something fun. And he then takes out an ancient bottle, saying it's a special magical tool. As he opens it, Tom, Lemon, and Finn are sucked and trapped inside the bottle. He then tells Mash that if he wants them back, he should come to the forest next to the owl hut and then teleports away. Mash duels against Lance and one, Lance stated that he did made a bet with him and gives Mash a silver coin. Mash then releases Tom, Lemon, and Finn. In the midst of the off-campus class, Mash and his classmates are led into the forest for an exercise involving forest scorpions. The task is to exterminate these creatures and collect the stones from their foreheads as rewards, with different stones having different values of bronze and silver coins. Silva Iron, a notorious troublemaker from the Langdorm, attempts to bully Mash, but his actions are cut short. Mash encounters Dot, who initially attempts to challenge him but is distracted by the sound of a girl's scream. They rush to help and find Lauren Cabas being targeted by another male student. Mash quickly intervenes, using his explode magic to defeat the attacker and rescue Lauren. Lauren, who possesses a charm-based magic that can make others fall in love with her, tries to use her magic on Mash, but finds that it has no effect on him. However, Dot succumbs to her charm and is immediately drawn to her. Lauren shares her story with Mash and Dot, revealing that she is being threatened and stalked by Silva. Dot, noticing her distress, decides to take matters into his own hands and confront Silva to protect Lauren. Silva arrives, displaying his own magic to shield himself. He taunts Dot and easily knocks him down in a confrontation, emphasizing the difference in their magical skills. A projectile from Silva's attack knocks down a cream puff that Mash was eating. The situation becomes tense as Silva's threat looms over Dot and Lauren. Mash must decide how to intervene and whether he can overcome the odds to stand up against Silva and protect his friends. Silva proposes a deal to Dot, promising to leave Lauren alone if Dot agrees to take only five hits from him. Dot, determined to protect Lauren, accepts the challenge and endures all five hits, collapsing afterward. He urges Mash to take Lauren and escape, but Silva and Lauren's true intentions are revealed as they mock Dot for falling for their ruse. Mash takes action by throwing a cream puff at Silva to silence him, declaring that they've had enough and it's Silva's turn to face a challenge. Mash challenges Silva to a ten-hit contest, and after delivering two powerful hits, Silva falls to his knees, shocked by his inability to stand or win against Mash. Mash stands up and approaches Silva, but a scorpion with a star-shaped stone appears. Silva hopes to use the distraction to escape while Mash deals with the scorpion, but Mash swiftly defeats the creature. He then confronts Lauren, who pretends to regret her actions, but Mash sees through her facade and takes her down with a suplex. Mash later reunites with his friends, including Lance, and Dot apologizes for involving Mash in the situation. They convert the five silver coins Mash has collected into a gold coin. The next day, Mash heads to class but encounters a confusing door. He wonders whether to push or pull to open it. Meanwhile, Silva is seen apologizing to Abel, who explains his belief in the importance of chosen individuals with perfect education, talent, and noble bloodline to control the world. Abel ultimately turns Silva into a doll. As Mash approaches the door, unsure of how to open it, he reflects the uncertainty he faces in his new environment and the challenges that lie ahead. Mash arrives at Magia Lupus's stronghold, facing Abel who questions his motives. Mash seeks peaceful coexistence with his family as a divine visionary. Abel believes that humanity thrived by exploiting the weak and aims to return the world to its former state. Mash appears to share Abel's desire for peace, though Abel perceives hostility. Abel attacks with Silva's puppet, but Mash cleverly defeats it, revealing Silva. Abel releases a stronger puppet, snatching Mash's coin and hurling it. Mash rescues Silva, prioritizing him over the coin. Silva wakes up in the nurse's office, puzzled by Mash's kindness. Back in Adler's room, Lemon alerts them that Langdorm dominates the coin count, a potential threat to equality. Mash, Lance, and Dot agree to intervene. Mash and Lance are ambushed by Magia Lupus members Olore and Anser. Olore uses Seafield to trap Mash, but Mash surprises him by swimming faster. Mash cleverly evades Olore's attacks and defeats him. Lance outsmarts Anser, leveraging owl distractions. Lance's determination prevails, smashing Anser's attacks. Mash takes Alori's coin while Abyss Razor intervenes. 
Abyss swiftly dodges their attacks, explaining he came only to retrieve his allies. Abyss departs, leaving Lance eager to counter Magia Lupus. Abyss notices his mask cracking and realizes Mash's uniqueness. Rhodes Amos, a fierce Orca dorm member, confronts Abyss and is swiftly defeated, losing his gold coin. Lance explains Magia Lupus's plan to collect gold coins from other dorms, starting by locating their hidden bases. Mash bakes cream puffs, Tom feels drained, and dreams of confinement. In the infirmary, Tom, along with other students, loses magic energy. Lemon warns Mash of danger, gifts him a charm. Mash, Lance, Dot, and Finn venture through the dark school. Lemon, revealed as a puppet, guides them to a hidden door. They enter an ancient arena and face Shuin Getsuku from Langdorm. Dot engages Shuin with explosive traps, defeating him cleverly. Separated, Lance faces Worth Model, Dot and Finn meet Love Cute and Milo Genius, and Mash encounters Abyss, preparing to fight. Lance engages Worth swiftly using Graviol, but Worth evades into the ground and creates mud copies. Lance shatters them with gravity magic, attempts an attack but fails, and Worth ensnares him. Worth urges Lance to join Magia Lupus, offering growth, not trash like Adler. Lance refuses, uses Graviol sideways, but Worth defends with mud environment. Lance outsmarts by shooting debris, forcing Worth to reappear. Worth consumes a potion, amplifying his magic and summoning a mud demon. Lance unveils Graviol's second torture pole, shattering the demon. Worth recollects his past, feels unworthy, defeated by Lance's strength. Mash confronts Abyss, who uses accelerates to cut him. Abyss reveals Lemon's impending magic loss. Abyss attacks Mash with Accelerate's sphere. Mash counters. Abyss's evil eye hampers magic. Mash breaks Abyss's mask, learns evil eye's power. Abyss targets Mash's weakness with force field. But Mash adapts, defeats Abyss with hurricane rush. Abyss reflects on his painful life and inability to connect. Mash respects Abyss but cannot change his eye. Abyss warns Mash against Abel. They part ways, Mash proposing cream puffs. Milo, Love, Dot, and Finn are to engage in a battle. Milo entrusts Love with Finn and Dot, hoping she can handle them. Love flirts with Finn and Dot, asking if they find her cute. Dot, despite his attraction to Love, declines due to his loyalty to Lemon. Infuriated by his response, Love attacks Dot with Tornagus, which he blocks using Explome. Love rants about her belief that girls deserve admiration, demanding that those who don't comply should die. Love reveals that Milo's power can petrify the one who opened the underground door, giving them a limited time to defeat her. Love uses Tornagus Cage, trapping Dot in a tornado. Dot reflects on his past, his sister's advice, and his growth with Mash. Dot unleashes his Warding Cross power, canceling Love's magic. Love threatens to turn Mash into stone, revealing her father's order. Dot defies her and surprises her with his enhanced magic. Love recalls children with the Warding Cross, realizing Dot's transformation. Dot defeats Love's magic, ending the threat. A stone head emerges, targeting Finn. Dot intervenes, stopping the head with his bare hands. Milo appears, creating stone hands to attack Dot and Finn. Rain aims, a divine visionary, arrives, saving Finn and Dot. Rain incapacitates Milo and confronts him. Love offers to defect to Adler. Milo is defeated but alive. Rain teaches Milo a lesson through pain. Dot recognizes Rain as a student, amazed when Finn reveals Rain as his brother. Rain investigates Milo, sensing an anomaly in Mash. Rain tests Mash's power with Arachnibus, discovering Mash's unique abilities. Rain advises Mash to become a divine visionary, to face Abel. Rain recalls Wahlberg's warning and leaves, urging Mash to prove his strength without magic. Mash enters a door, inadvertently breaking it. He faces Abel wondering if he should pull or push the door, resulting in an unintentional entrance. Abel is taken aback by Mash's strength and realizes that Rain wasn't the only student capable of challenging Abyss's evil eye. He expresses his belief that not everyone is equal and devalues those without magic, considering them inferior. Mash recalls his upbringing and relationship with Regro, leading him to reject Abel's plans. Mash and Abel engage in a battle of words before the fight escalates. Love returns to Abel's side, but remains hidden as Mash confronts him. Mash shatters Abel's dolls, and when Abel tries to taunt Mash about inferior genes, Mash uses his physical strength to challenge Abel. Abel manipulates Mash with puppet magic, forcing him to harm himself and later Finn. 
Mash, determined to protect his friends, resists Abel's control and shatters the puppet strings using a cream puff. Abel raises the stakes by attempting to transform Mash into a doll using marionette change. Despite the odds, Mash breaks free, impressing Abel with his instinctual reflexes. Abel employs his harm puppet spell, but Mash overpowers it. Mash uses Erector Spini magic to defeat Abel and learns about the tragic event that shaped Abel's perspective. Abel agrees to release Lemon and the other students he had turned into puppets. Mash, Lemon, and Finn celebrate their reunion while awaiting Lance's return. Meanwhile, Rain confronts an intruder member named John Pierre and faces the challenge of an encounter with a high-ranking member of the Innocent Zero. Around the time Mash triumphs over Abel, Regro and Brad share concerns about Mash's inability to use magic. Brad worries about the consequences if Mash doesn't strive to become a divine visionary. Mash, Lemon, Dot, and Finn celebrate their victory, prompting Abel and Love to question the duration of their celebration. As Mash steps away to use the bathroom, Selwar, an agent of Innocent Zero, arrives and shoves aside Lemon, Finn, and Dot. Sel confronts Abel and realizes he has been defeated by someone else. He inflicts harm on Abel, but Mash returns with cream puffs. A fly makes Mash sneeze, causing him to accidentally toss cream puffs at Sel. Mash requests the cream puffs back, unaware of Sel's sinister intent. Sel experiences a headache, sensing resonance with his target, Mash. When Mash retaliates by throwing a rock at him, Cell's spell is diverted. Cell attacks Abel, who is shielded by Abyss. Abyss takes the hit and offers his life to save Abel. Mash intervenes, giving Abyss a magical handkerchief. Cell battles Mash, initially overpowering him. Mash's determination to save Abyss emerges from his understanding of loneliness and the value of companionship. Abel's introspection suggests a growing empathy for others. Abyss recalls Abel's support despite his imperfections, showing his nobility. Cell continues his relentless assault on Mash. Dot observes Mash's progress but can't aid him without leaving Lemon and Finn vulnerable. Cell intensifies his attack but Mash presses on. Abel uses his doll to defend against Cell's magic, demonstrating courage and the right to resist the powerful. Mash emerges from the doll and lands a punch on Cell, breaking through his defenses. Cell wields the spell flexion mirror, a formidable artifact. Dot warns Mash about its danger, but Mash shatters it without using magic. Mash's friends recognize his decision not to use magic and pledge to protect his secret. A recovered captive student overhears the conversation and threatens to expose Mash. Mash remains composed, seemingly unfazed by the revelation. Cell returns to Innocent Zero, announcing his discovery and expressing his excitement about their impending wish fulfillment. And that's the end for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.